everyone and welcome for the video today. I designed this little padlock in Fusion 360 and printed that on my resin printer. I have an Anycubic Mono Zero, but you can print it on any kind of resin printer. I think a filament printer would not be able to print this little one. But if you don't have a resin printer, I am having a little tutorial on how to make it of polymer clay um, at the end of the video, so you can go watch that part. I washed and cleaned these and had them under the UV light for hardening, and then I painted them all black, so everything is black. It has a little keyhole in the bottom, and I made sure that everything in the little keyhole was painted black. I'm using a metallic gold paint here to uh, paint the padlock itself. I am leaving the hook of it black, but you can paint that one gold as well if you want to. I am just making sure that the little keyhole at the bottom is still black on the inside, so I'm kind of painting over that so you can still see the little um, keyhole there, and I'm doing that on purpose because uh, you won't be able to see it if you paint it gold as well. After painting the padlock, I am hanging it to dry on this little stick that I have uh, placed over two small balls. This way they can dry without leaving marks anywhere. I had a few places where the gold was going over the hook part of the padlock and I wanted that to be black, so I'm just correcting a few of these. And that's it for the padlock. Let me show you how to do it of polymer clay. I am going to take a piece of black clay that I rolled out on a medium size and I am using a wire of some sort. I like this black wire so I am going to take a piece of that and I make this little kind of U shape from that one. Then I am going to cut a straight down or a straight line it's called here on the uh, polymer clay and I'm going to divide that in two parts placing this little U shape of a metal hook so that it is um, in the clay, the legs here are in the clay and the U shape is over the clay. Then I'm taking the, uh, uh, actually I'm going to take some bacon bond to make sure that everything is going to stick together, especially this little metal part here. I'm going to place that back again so that it has the legs on the clay and the U shape on top taking the uh, one side of the clay here and placing that on top of the other, making sure that the top line is matched. And then I'm just going to cut out the shape of the padlock. And that's all there is to it. Bake it and you can again paint it just like you feel like. And then you have a small padlock you can use for a locker or something like that. I had a lot of fun with this video, so I hope you will have a bit of fun with this one. I know it's not a Christmas theme, but it can be uh, difficult to figure out how to make so many Christmas themed videos, so you will have to enjoy this one. Anyway, that's all for today. I will see you tomorrow, so happy crafting.